welcome back programmers in the fifth video of workzoox series in the today's video we are going to move on to our e-commerce website in the previous video we just completed all of the basic stuff which we needed to create our website using workzoox using pure python as you can see this is our project now in here as you can see we got a lots of things going on in the previous video we simply created this url map and we simply redirected this we created this views function and we redirected this to html for our index.html and for our register.html in the today's section what we are going to do we are going to create a simple logic for post and get request now if you don't know what is request and what is post and get so in the register or whatever html you got for example in the index.html we got a form let's create a simple form using this navbar sorry using this get bootstrap in here just go on the forms and select any form you like for example because we have to register it on our website simply use this form this is good for now so i'm going to copy this form and paste it in my register.html because we need to register the user and for that just paste it in here so this is our form now we didn't add the bootstrap so we have to add the bootstrap so if you don't notice how to add the bootstrap just go on the home page of getbootstrap.com go on the get bootstrap and copy this starter template paste it in your website in your index.html change this to register because this is the register page so i am going to put register here and i am going to remove all of this other stuff now because we are registering the user let's create the container uh, div class equal to container because we need our form in the middle and with the spaces so again copy this and paste it in the container now we need to add the register tag in here and for that just simply write div and put it a uh, strong because i want my text bold and just write register this is simple now i want my this text in the middle so i'm going to use the style text align in the middle so i'm going to use this center tag so that's it i'm not using the higher css and higher html and higher js because this is the beginner project i'm going to use the simple bootstrap and simple stuff to create my website and it will also look beautiful too now i want the margin in here and in here so i'm going to just write margin top equal to let's say 100 px and in the bottom let's say i want a margin of 50 px so let's go to the register and let's see what we got there so as you can see we got this register and we got this form now this register is too small so i'm going to add so simply i'm going to add an h1 tag so let's just add h1 tag and end the h1 tag in here i'm going to cut this and paste it in here okay i think that's it now what i want i want to create the database for logged in user or registering user so and for that i want the database now i am not going to use the sql i am going to use the postgres database now postgres is the one of the best database platform available now you can use the postgres in your python this is the very simple method now if you don't know how to work with the database i will create a whole new series for postgres database so this is our register page now let's just see the simple way that this is working or not how to get this text in our backend and in our here in our on home page sorry on register function so what i'm going to do i'm going to check that if this is the post method or the get method because in the register we have to add the method so let's just add the method equal to post now what is the difference between post and get method 
if you are very beginner so the best way to explain this that if your data is secure if you don't want to show your data to anyone so you can use the post and if your data is not secure so you can use the get if you don't want to your data to protect or you simply just want to pass the data so you can use the get or else use the post for example if you are sending the password or a secret database so you can use this post or if you are just sending a uh, any simple common data so you can use the get method now because we are using the post we have to check if request dot method equal to equal to post so just simply write if request dot method equal to equal to if or request which is nothing but this this is coming from front end remember if this request is post then I am going to simply print that this is post method this is post method now every time if you reload the page it will by default the get request for example if i reload this page so as you can see this was the get request now how do you know that that was the get request as you can see whenever we run this server we will get this get as you can see this is get as you can see whenever we reload the server it will give us this text which is nothing but the or request so this is the request as you can see always get request but first time we are going to get the post request from here now when for that we just created this button button type equal to submit and whatever so in here we are using this submit method so if anyone click this button so it will go on the post request so I hope you understand so now let's just try first let's reload this page in a simple way if we submit this button so we will get this message this is post method so let's try so in here i am not going to add any email address i am simply going to just add a simple text and whatever so when i click on this submit button it will go on the post method and it will give me that message which i just used in the print method so let's just try let's click submit oops i use the email specification so i have to write whatever at the rate and whatever dot com so let's use this let's try to click on the submit button so as you can see guys we got this is the post method or simple text so that's how you can redirect to the post method and here i can get any data from this front end for example let's grab this data in here we are simply just taking the email and password but because we are registering we have to add another data which is nothing but the username and name so in our database we are going to add name username email address and password i hope you guys understand now let's go in, in the register.html and i am going to add a new field username and name if you don't want to add a name it's okay you have to add the username unless you will be not get any unique name for your user and you will not be able to find that particular user when you want okay so in here I'm going to first of all change this uh, small because I don't need this right now and in here I'm going to remove this ID and this okay I'm going to remove this ID and the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change this type to text because we are simply getting the username and in here I am going to just simply write username or you can write anything you want but in our case we are adding the username okay that's it now in here we have to add the name now if you don't know how to grab the data from input you have to learn the HTML so let's just add the name equal to because we are grabbing the username so obviously I am going to add the name equal to user name now in here again I am going to add the name now in the name I am going to add the uh, email because we are grabbing the email from here and in here I am going to simply get the password so name equal to password I hope you guys understand this okay so that's it now simply i am going to get this all of the information in my this request dot method so let's add username and then we got email and then we got the password 
आई नो पासवर्ड शुडेंट बी अलाउड टू सी बाय एनी ऑफ डिवलपर एक्सेप्ट द यूजर ओके सो इन हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एड द यूजर नेम इक्वल टू एंड ईमेल इक्वल टू एंड पासवर्ड इक्वल टू ना टू ग्रेब द डेट एंड द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन यू विल सी दैट टू ग्रेब एनी ऑफ द डेटा यू हैव टू एड रिक्वेस्ट डॉट पोस्ट डॉट गेट मेथड एंड इन हियर यू कैन यूज इट लाइक दिस यू आर एल इक्वल टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉट फॉर्म यू कैन आदर यूज इट लाइक दिस यू आर एल इक्वल टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉट फॉर्म नाउ विल गेट ऑल ऑफ द डेटा बाय यूजिंग जस्ट दिस लेट्स ट्राई दिस और यू कैन एड यू कैन टेक द सेपरेट डेटा लेट्स फर्स्ट यूज लाइक दिस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सिंपली प्रिंट दिस यू आर एल नाउ वी विल गेट द फॉर्म यू आर एल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई प्रिंट लेट्स से यू आर एल एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिंट सिंपली यू आर एल ओके सो नाउ इन हियर let's run this code again because we got the error because as you can see syntax error because i was commenting this part let's run this code again let's go in our register and let's reload this page okay let's add some data so i am going to add whatever data in here let's click on the submit okay we got an bad request i don't know why i got this the browser or proxy sent a request that this server could not understand let's reload this again let's again add the data let's see if we got this error again and i will solve this error if we got is this again as you can see we got this error again okay we didn't have to add this request dot form we can directly use the uh, let's remove this sorry let's add the print request dot post because we need the post data okay in here you can add let's say let's use the request dot post dot get method request dot post dot get let's say i want to get the username so i am going to paste the username let's see if it's working or not uh, i am going to add an text in here so data and then this okay now let's add the data again let's try if it's working or not let's click on the submit as you can see we got the error attribution error request object has no attribute post so i think in workzug you have to add the request dot form and whatever data you want so let's just try request dot form let's i want the username let's try this let me quickly add the data okay it perfectly worked as you can see we got the data and login because i am just getting this request dot form and username so let's get all of the data so i am going to remove all of this stuff and i am going to add one by one data so first of all let's take username then we got email so i am going to change this with email and then we got the password so let's just add the password okay now let's print all of the data so just write variable name username we got and we got email and then we got the password okay okay so let's just add the data now i hope this will work fine okay so now let's see okay as you can see we got all of the data login we got whatever email id and whatever password so that's how you can grab the data from post method from front end to back end and this is the best way to get the post request data okay so now that we got the data from user now what we are going to do next we are going to create a database for user registration and then we are going to create a new database for our shopping website in that website we are going to add some data for products and then we are going to connect that word database and we are going to create a simple e-commerce website now in today's section we just learned how to get the post and get request and how to get the data from front end to back end using the get and post so that is it for today's guys in the next video we are going to save this data into the database now and for that database we are going to use the postgres database 
If you don't know what is Postgres, just search about that and learn a little bit about the Postgres. The next video we are going to talk about the Postgres and how to create a Postgres API session in our database and how to connect that Postgres with or this Python program. So that is it for today's guys. See you guys in the next video. Till then, just code.